Yeah, we got the heat on now, 49. It's a little cold to be in the shop. Come on, heater work. Any don't mind. It's, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, just throw the ball. That's all you want. Gotta make some coffee. And I am once again out of Tully's. So it's back to the nasty bean juice. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, today what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this body off. Like I said, I was gonna do in the last video that I didn't end up getting to. And uh, right now we, I'm, we, I got any work in the corner. So, got some supports weld, not, not welded. I've made a support for here. I do have to weld it here. Um, basically, I'm just attaching them to the hinge points where, I'm sorry. God, God, I'm gonna start this all over. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, today I am going to take the body off of the frame. I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna lift the front of this thing, but you know what, we'll get, we'll, we'll get to that point eventually. Um, what I got going on so far is I got supports bolted here, bolted to the hinge point here, um, bolted here to the part of the latch. You know, you got two bolts here, two bolts up high. Uh, I, I have to weld this together. And then in the back, I already have the rotisserie attached to the back of the truck. And I've actually already lifted it up, so I know that it works and it holds it. It's great. I put some tools away. Um, so, Right now, I have to weld this up. As soon as I'm done welding this, I will do the passenger side. The reason I'm doing these one at a time is uh, more fun findings with this K5 Blazer. You know, this thing looked really great. I paid a decent amount of money for it, but the more I dig into it, the more significant issues I find. One issue is, there's a, uh, this truck had a, uh, let's see where the white is. I don't know if you remember, but there used to be saddle gas tanks on this, where there's some gas tanks that sat right underneath here. In order for those guys to put those saddle tanks on, they actually cut out a major structural support from the body. As you can see here, this is all cut, and it was cut with a torch. So there's basically supposed to be, it's called the rocker box. It's actually pretty thick metal. It's pretty, pretty thick structural, port, uh, structural support that goes from here to there. And it goes for the full length, well not from full length, it goes from here to right behind the door. And that provides a lot of strength for where the door opening is in the body. Now, one of the reasons I had a lot of flex after I took the roof off is because that structural support is missing. So the body is flexing this way. The whole front of this is flexing. The back is pretty stable because it's longer and it attaches to the frame in multiple points. So, luckily, there are places out there that make that panel. And I do have them on order and they are actually shipped Bing, now they're on the way. Don't know when exactly they'll be here. I've had a lot of issues with shipping. Mustang parts still aren't here. Supposed to get them last week. According to FedEx, they're in transit. Don't know if the massive winter storm that we just had is having an effect on those deliveries, but it could be. Could be stuck somewhere, I'm not, not sure. So once those get here, flip the body up on its side, with the use of the rotisseries and we'll get those panels welded in there um all right so you know what you know what i'm gonna say let's get busy okay so here's my replacement mounts this is the only bolt that came out because the weld broke all of the other bolts are welded to the body these are some of the body mounts that came off 
and they're they're just in absolutely terrible, 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 terrible shape. Now, that one's actually not bad. Oh, there you go. That that one looks nice. Wonder why it rode like shit. And we're going with the full size coffee today. And let's increase the strength a little. Brew, baby, brew. We need some coffee. Got steam coming off her. Cold in the shop. So we got the blazer mounted on the rotisserie. It wasn't too terribly hard. I'm attached to hinge points. Didn't flex. That looks great. I'm stoked. <laughs> hey, check it out. I got a blazer frame. Really dirty blazer frame. I'm going to strip this sucker down a little bit more and clean it. Clean, 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 clean. It would be so much easier to do this since the body's off of it. Maybe I'll take the wheels and tires off just because they're super nice. I don't want to get a lot of cleaning agent on them. All right, look at this thing. Doesn't look bent or anything. It looks pretty straight. No cracks. So if you've, if you've gone and looked at the Frank video, which is one of my very first videos, it was of the 74 F100 I redid. That thing had a cracked frame. That was, that was fun. We didn't find out until after we took it apart. Got the coffee ready. It's a big cup. Because it's cold. Danny dog, where's your ball? Where's your ball? You right there? Okay. Yeah? You want me to throw it? <laughs> All right, so now it's time to strip down the frame. I think this is a gas line, or it comes off a gas tank for a charcoal canister or something. You can tell there's a lot of oil buildup. 
in certain areas that have has to be cleaned and take out the wiring um, look at this got an abandoned abandoned gas line here I don't know if it's gas but just sitting here I don't know <laughs> and look at these that's that's terrible so bad oh so bad wow um, I wonder what the heck all these are for I don't know I just don't know we'll figure it out though actually all that stuff has to come out anyway because you know we have fuel injected six liter going in the truck and the uh, fuel lines are going to be different and new I wanted to show you something pulled off the body obviously and this is what I find do you know what those are a few of those will know what those are I know they're they're washers yeah that 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 goes without saying but what kind of washers are these I know what they are and I know why they're here because when they cut those supports out of the truck <laughs> and these mounts were probably they've been bad for a long time so the body probably flexed, flexed enough where they couldn't open or close the door and that's why they put those washers there but these washers are not for a car if you know what they are put a comment down in, in the comment section I can't, well, I can believe. Some people will do anything. I'll set those right there. Uh, emergency brake, speedo cable, which is going to have to come out anyway. I don't even know if I'm going to keep it. That actually looks pretty new. Fuel lines just busted. Alright, so I gotta get busy stripping this stuff out of here so I can clean this frame. Oh, and my daughter who painted that has COVID. So, hope she's doing well. Love you, kiddo. Hope you get over it soon. Alright, I'm gonna find a place for the camera. And, uh, we'll start working on this. My sweet dog okay so the frame has been stripped of all its fuel lines and brake lines and electrical except for the gas tank still got to take that out back there i'm gonna start cleaning this sucker because it's filthy filthy oil mud and dirt before i spray it i'm just gonna use a wire wheel on everything because it's easy
There we go. Dropped. So the frame is almost clean. Not really. I'm about half. I'm not, I'm not even halfway. I'm about a third of the way. I did decide to take out the gas tank. Uh, I got to take out those bolts over there that held up the straps. I'm going to cut this off right now. You can tell that thing's bent. Got the toe hitch cut off, but they, uh, as you can tell, the uh, they put this little extra thing there. Oh, look at that! I gotta fix that too. Why? Why? What? What did they do? Why is that like that? Anyway, well, it looks like I gotta clean up the end of the frame here. It's got some extra welds. I gotta get this piece of metal off. Doesn't look like it's touching or welded to the bracket here, the hanger. It's only welded to the frame on the top, which God looks like 80% of the weld missed the metal. Let me look how heavy it is up high. Look how much extra metal is showing here. So there's, you know, maybe 15% of the weld is touching that metal. Not very safe. Then, so we'll just keep cutting along here. I don't want to cut into the frame. It's going to take a little time to get that off. Let me show you the other side. And over here, you know, this one was done a little bit better. I've already cut into here. I got a little bit extra here. I got to cut off. This also looks bad. I wonder if there was no holes there and they just made holes. I, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look very good. An extra weld here, an extra weld here for some unknown reason. I gotta clean all that up. We're almost done cleaning the top of the frame. I got a little bit more to do inside the channels here. So much filth. See, I haven't done back here at all inside. I've done the top of the frame, this side as well. It's looking good. Loving it. Hot dog. Yeah, I got a chair in there.
Hey guys, so I got about 75% of this frame cleaned right now. And I've been working on this for a few days, actually. I have at least another full day of cleaning before I get to painting it. So I'm gonna make that for the next video. I'm gonna cut this one off here because you've seen me clean and I just, <laughs> I'm just gonna stop it just because I, I don't think it, another 18 hours of me cleaning is gonna be riveting video. It's coming along really, really nice. It looks really, really good. I'm very happy with what I'm seeing. There's no major damage to the frame in any place. Uh, it's just the weird stuff on the very back that I have to, I still have to grind off the crappy welds from the uh, original hitch that was there. So, that's a lot of crap. I mean, that's just some of it. I still gotta sweep all this up over here. Hey, so thank you very much for following along. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, I'll get to the finishing up this frame on the next video and we'll get ready to start putting this body back on there. I do have some parts coming for this. Oh, speaking of parts. I'm very sorry to say that the Mustang parts have been lost in the mail. Not mail, but in shipping. This happened once before to me when I ordered wheels and tires for the Blazer. I ordered five, four came, one didn't. It took me about a month before I got another one shipped to me. Always pay for shipping insurance. So I got to reorder the parts that I had coming for the Mustang. It's gonna be another couple weeks before I get them. Hey, so thank you very much for following along. Please hit that like and subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. All right, peace.